Michelle, why do you call your business Fertility Freak? Or why do you call yourself Miss Fertility Freak? That sounds kind of ratchet, kind of nasty. Like, what? where did that come from? And it, I need to hear some answers. I hear y'all. Y'all ask a lot. I have a lot of people who say there's no way you're saved with that name. But I want to give you some insight. Well, first of all, when I started helping women get pregnant, and I realized that God was calling me to do this as my career. I said, God, what is the name of this? I need everything to look good on paper. I need it to be legal. I need to register with the state, all those things. And I said, God, what is the name of this business? And he said, fertility freak. Oh, freak? Ain't nobody like that sounds like what, what would I do? But I said, you know what, God, that's what you said. Immediately filed out my paperwork. Boom. Right. And then I said, you know what, let me look up the definition of freak. Like, what does this even mean? So I'm going to pull it up for you. The noun has two definitions. The first one is a very unusual and unexpected event or situation. Okay. The second one is a person, animal, or plant with an unusual physical abnormality. And then the verb, the informal version says to behave or cause to behave in a wild and irrational way, typically because of the effects of a stream, emotion, mental illness or drugs. Y'all ain't nothing about freak Nick. In the, I mean, I know that's what y'all thinking. That's that's not in the definition. An unusual or unexpected event or situation. I did not expect to deal with fertility issues. I have been running, trying to avoid pregnancy all my single life. And now being a grown woman wondering like, I didn't think this is how it was gonna go. Like I thought it was gonna happen naturally for me. And it didn't, that is unexpected. Part two, uh, a person with an unusual physical abnormality. How many times has your doctor told you that this part of your reproductive organs or your uterus or your tubes or your um, ovaries um, or a male factor, something is not right. Something is abnormal. This is the perfect definition of what dealing with infertility is like. Having something be unexpected and abnormal. And then three, to behave in an irrational way. I don't know about you, but enough negative pregnancy tests, enough disappointment, another period coming on can make your mind feel irrational and you feel like you're losing it because you never expected to have to deal with this. The emotions and the highs and lows of fertility struggles is real. And it makes you feel irrational, especially when you don't have anyone that you can talk to about what you're going through, who understands your perspective. So why is my business called Fertility Freak? Because one, God said it. And sometimes when you're going through fertility things, you need to use that same strategy because if God tells you to change an appointment, if God tells you to go to a different doctor, if a God tells you to push back your your surgery date, you need to listen and immediately implement, even if it sounds crazy. Because I have had clients where I say, hey, wait two more months before you go to your next IVF round and then they get pregnant naturally. Things like that happen. So you have to be prepared to execute on what God says. And if you don't hear God clearly for yourself yet, you need to get with someone in your fertility journey who can hear God for you and help you learn how to hear God for yourself. So why the fertility freak? Why not a more professional, polished name? Because this is a God-ordained business, and I do things God's way, even if it makes you uncomfortable. But the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. I am going to be, by textbook definition, a freak about getting you pregnant. I'm going to do things that maybe your doctor calls irrational. All that doesn't work. But I'm going to do whatever it takes to make sure you have the information, strategy, and accountability to get pregnant by any means necessary because that's what God has already decreed and declared for your life. He's already told you you're going to be a mom. So it's your time to walk out the steps of being in alignment with what you already know God has called you to do. So my name is Michelle Tillman. AKA Miss Fertility Freak. And I can't wait 
to walk you through your journey with faith, science, and strategy so that you can have your miracle story and your miracle blessing. I pray that the Lord will lead you to bust a move and not keep doing what you've always been doing, but do something new so you can achieve something great. I'm excited to work with you. Comment down below if you watch this all the way to the end. I want you to comment something. Okay, let's think. Type popcorn in the comments. Because if you type popcorn, I know you watch it all the way to the end. Type popcorn. And I'm going to shoot you a message. And we're going to chat about how I can help you. Bye.